Hey everybody and welcome back to my zero budget show, How to Husbro. The show where I teach you how to be such an amazing husbro that you could nail yourself a billion dollar sugar daddy. Not that you want a sugar daddy or that you need a sugar daddy, it's just that you could if you wanted to because you're what? That's right. Sick. This is episode two of facials, the ooey gooey facial. Andres, I'm gonna need you to remove your shirt as well because this one is going to get super ooey gooey. Like there's gonna be like like moisture just like all over the place and I don't wanna damage your Convince me. Yeah. That we really wanna make sure you watch to the end of the video. As stated before, today's facial is the ooey gooey facial. We're doing a calendula and aloe soothing hydration mask from Kiehl's. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do just like last time, is take the lid off. Step two, as always, is get your puppy and put him in your husband's lap. Again, careful not to squish anyone's balls. Andres is not Sarge. Sarge doesn't have any anymore. Adopt don't shop. Make sure your hands are clean and just start applying it to the face. This one doesn't need drying time or to set or anything like that. So what we're gonna do is just put a little base layer on and then do a face massage. Mm. Now, if you notice, this particular mask is extra gooey, not quite as gooey, which is all right. I tend to prefer a gooeyer mask. What about you guys? Gooey. Andres is a gooey man too. So the purpose of a gooey mask is to do more of a soothing, calming, hydrating thing. There's calendula, there's aloe. I'm pretty sure there's also like trace amounts of opium, maybe ambergris, bee pollen, horny goat weed, all that fun stuff too, to really make sure that the person getting the mask feels fully facialized. It's the most moist. Oh, it's the most moist. Again, you don't want to get any of your facial into your husband's hair. That's just a general no-no across the board. Now, if you don't have a husbro to practice on, you can just do this with a friend or uh, your mom, or I wouldn't recommend like your dog or a teddy bear because again, the hair thing. But you know, this isn't something that you can only do with a husbro. Yeah, you like that move? That's good. A girl with bangs that can talk to rocks taught me this particular move done on the forehead. It's kind of just like a little crisscrossy motion. Just like last time, you want to make sure that you get all of the nooks and crannies to make sure everything is fully moisturized with the ooey gooey goodness. Do not forget your husband's butt chin. Yeah, I get that butt chin. You got your butt chin, bro. It's going to go a little bit more behind you for this one. Watch the lamp. Now those of you who watch a lot of internet videos, you're going to find that this particular facial looks very similar to other types of facials that they might have seen on the internet. Those are cheap impersonations, the, the guys on OnlyFans and those other ones. This is the real deal. This is what you really need to be doing. I mean, you can do the other one too, just do it later. Part three. Mm -hmm. On our OnlyFans, on Sarge's OnlyFans. You always want to get that spot right under the eyes. That spot in particular gets taxed a lot, especially if you're dating someone like me that forces you to make videos on your beach vacation in Huntington Beach. So while this sets, we're going to just do a little bit of a face massage. The best place for me to start is right here under the brow ridge. You kind of just push. It's almost like you're poking them in their third eye. Not to be confused with their brown eye. All my eyes are brown. All of his eyes are brown. Thank you, Sarge. The facial is the best part of the day. It's the time you can actually relax. You don't have to worry about your dog barking when you're trying to shoot or anything like that. Fun fact, massage actually dates back about 50,000 years ago in ancient Mesopotamia where the people of comic Sanskrit wrote about doing massages. 
The material they used for their massage was the, um, the fluid that comes out when you have a baby. Placenta. Oh, bless you. Can you get that line around like my upper lip? You know, the smile lines. These? No, the ones that are in my nose, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we're back. <laughs> now, since we're a couple episodes into How to Husbro, you may be thinking to yourself, Max is really trying to show off with his Husbro skills. In fact, it's quite the opposite. This is me passive aggressively teaching Andres how he should do me. In fact, if you have a Husbro that you're doing things like this for and he's not reciprocating, he better be a sugar daddy because you have to bring more to a relationship than just good dick. Right, Pepe? Once you've completed your massage, your husband should be asleep if you're doing it right. Just a nice couple of blows to the face. We'll really put a nice button at the end of your work. Give your husband a little bit of time to recuperate, relax, just rest. Don't pull any frat shit right now, like putting your balls in his mouth or taking pictures of him with like a dick drawn on his face. This isn't the time for that. Next week is. See you then.